All right, here I am again, ready to do M. So to start off with, the one that I'm most definitely going to upgrade to Blu-ray on eventually. Just haven't done it yet because of reasons. Mall Rats. Uh, in case you're wondering, I have the entire Jersey trilogy. I have it all. Because um, I grew up with these movies. Why not? Uh, I love this movie. It's hilarious. If you don't love it, then there's a problem with you. Um, oh yeah, this is pretty sure in the wrong place, but regardless, it's a busted DVD that's still in my collection for some reason. Anyways, on to the next one. Uh, I used to have the first one of these on DVD until I upgraded the Blu-ray, and they don't have the other two in the series on Blu-ray yet. So, here's Major League Two on DVD, which is eh. And here's Major League Three on DVD. Back Major League Back to the Miners. And honestly, this is my favorite of the series. I know people be like, wait, what? But no, seriously, this is hilarious. Um, first of all, you got Scott Bakula, as I mentioned previously in my last video. I'm a big fan of Quantum Leap, so to see him as an aging baseball player turned into a manager... Well, it's a little odd, and it's interesting, and he does a pretty good job with it. And just the story overall is goofy and fun and interesting, and it gets closer than most baseball-related movies do to actually uh, depicting what real baseball is like. That being said, there is a scene where they have a one-game playoff, or they play one game against the... Uh, Minnesota Twins, which I'm pretty sure, like, they probably would not allow minor league players to play, uh, a minor league team to play against a major league team for just one game for no reason. But it fits within the lore of the whole major league thing because that's exactly the same thing as what happened in the first movie. That It all comes down to, like, a one-game playoff, which, at least if, to my recollection, did not exist at the time that, that movie came out. So... This whole, you know, oh, they can't do that. It's like, well, they couldn't do it in the first movie either, but they did it anyway, so don't give me that bullshit. It's quite good. I liked this movie. Anyways, I wish I would get a Blu-ray release. I would totally buy the Blu-ray. Next up, this one I will actually check on because it seems like one that would get a Blu-ray release. And if it doesn't, then I don't know what to tell you, because, seriously, no release. What the hell? What the freaking hell? It's a Ridley Scott movie. Matchstick Men, starring our Lord and Savior, Nicolas Cage, and Sam Rockwell. Uh, very, very good movie. If you haven't seen it you def yet, you definitely need to check it out. And, uh, yeah, I picked up the DVD for, like two to three bucks so I was like why not heck yeah good movie next up uh, is another one that desperately needs to be on blu-ray I swear I heard something about it coming to blu-ray uh, but if it isn't then no I don't see it I don't know why it's not coming to blu-ray yet because it's an animated movie that would look fucking gorgeous in high definition. It might be on Blu-ray in Japan to my, no, to my recollection, but I don't remember. So, Metropolis. This is Osamu Tezuka. I had to see it to say it. Osamu Tezuka's Metropolis. Uh, so the same people that worked on uh, what's, what's this? Astro Boy and stuff like that worked on this one. And, oh my god, if you know the movie, the original movie Metropolis, this is not only just, not only a reference to it, but it's just like a retelling of it in a very anime style that is goddamn gorgeous and magnificent and steampunk and beautiful. And this is like, 
if you are any kind of fan of steampunk, you need to see this movie. It is beautiful and magnificent, and just, you know, by the end, you're just going to be staring at the screen and wonder, just like, yeah, it's it's that good. So this set comes, it's a one that folds out like this, and it comes, interestingly enough, with the movie on the main disc here, and then special features and stuff on a mini DVD. <laughs> So if you haven't seen that ever before, now you have Metropolis. Very good movie if you haven't picked it up. You totally should, man, even though it's only on DVD. This one I'm definitely picking like a, picking up on Blu-ray. Um, I got this for Christmas a few years ago, and a lot of people I know hate this movie. I will preface that. I will preface preface this by saying that a lot of people I know who look, even like Christmas movies hate this Christmas movie and it's a remake uh, Miracle on 34th Street I don't hate this I think it's actually a pretty good remake and I feel like it adds like a little bit there that maybe didn't exist in the first movie and it's just fun it's good I like Christmas movies I realize they're all corny but I like them anyways, and this one was a pretty good one. So, so shoot me, I don't know. Don't don't actually do it, but you know what I'm saying. Like, um, yeah, I'm gonna get this on Blu-ray. I'm just waiting for it to fall into the five to ten dollar range, which it has yet to do. So, next up, this one I got more recently than others, and I paid five bucks for it, and. No regrets whatsoever because I don't think this is coming to Blu-ray anytime soon. Mom and Dad Save the World. Terry Gar, Jeffrey Jones, John Lovitz, Eric Idle. Boldly going where no parents have gone before. <laughs> it's just a goofy, fun little movie from uh, the 90s. And there are a lot of interesting things about this. The score is really awesome. And the story is just goofy as hell. I believe we did a, uh, a movie commentary for this one. But, yeah. Anyways. Next up. I think this is on Blu-ray. Let me check. Let me check. Why are there so many movies with the, with this title in it? Well, I don't see it, but I'm almost positive that it is on Blu-ray, and I'm probably going to be picking it up on Blu-ray whenever I can. Monster! Starring Charlize Theron and Christina Ricci. Uh, very good movie. Uh, a lot of people... Because of the like the story and what it's about, they don't like it. But I mean, what I really love about this movie is that it shows Charlene Theron, uh, Charlie's Theron. Uh, as you can see here, she's not really wearing much makeup. She's just you know, she really gets into the character, and I love that because, uh, because I've honestly felt like you know. Women don't necessarily have to, or shouldn't necessarily have to wear makeup, and it's not that men don't wear makeup either. It's just that, you know, I always felt like makeup, in my personal opinion, is something that's just like it's an optional thing, and it's not really yeah, it's something that interests me or, you know, that I find attractive necessarily. So. It's just really nice to see like a major movie with a major movie star in it that just refuses to wear makeup in order to fit the role of her character and it's fucking magnificent. And she does so fucking well in this movie. If you haven't seen it yet, you definitely need to. Next up, another one I'm definitely going to be getting on Blu-ray. The Muppet Movie. Don't have it on Blu-ray yet, but I picked this up a while ago. I can't remember how long now. 
it's been a few years at least and uh, I really love the Muppet movie it's one of my favorites I it isn't one that really that I grew up with it's one that I watched like when I was 10 11 or 12 or something like that when it came out originally on VHS or not originally but remember when they had like the green box version of the Muppet movie on VHS when that came out my dad picked it up for me and I watched it then and I fell in love with it because I had already watched the Muppet Babies I had already watched a bunch of other Muppet stuff Sesame Street uh, Fraggle Rock and you know a bunch of other stuff but I had never seen the original Muppet movie so when I saw it I fell in love with it slowly but surely and now it's just something I have to have in my collection gonna be getting the blu-ray of that one definitely definitely getting the blu-ray next up murder my sweet another one that came into the in that collection of the uh, noir movies that I got last Black Friday uh, this is probably one of the ones that made me want to pick that set up because not only is this hard to find, not only is it not on Blu-ray, as far as I know, and not coming to Blu-ray anytime soon, but it's a really great noir film from the era that a lot of people don't talk about, a lot of people don't remember, and yet there's so much about it that it's fucking magnificent. It's exactly what you want out of a noir movie. So you ever see this anywhere I totally recommend picking it up murder my sweet last but not least in the M's we have my summer story the sequel to a Christmas story yes this is the proper sequel to a Christmas story not that crap that came out recently called a Christmas story 2 that is a piece of crap this actually had effort put into it and is actually pretty good uh if you liked the if you like a christmas story you owe it to yourself to check this one out i like to watch this one every well summer i believe it went under a different name originally but yeah this one came out in the mid 90s i i think it was like a they released it on like a movie channel or something like that but yeah anyway my summer story the last one in my empire all right i guess we're on to n and whatnot see ya in the next video